Hi, so whenever I teach students about MATLAB, uh, this discussion about your current path and your search paths is always a common source of confusion and is a common source of uh, unintentional bugs that students make or errors students make um, when writing uh, M files and attempting to run them. So I just started MATLAB, and so by default, MATLAB places me in this directory. Uh, so this is uh, root, subfolder home, and then pluj.js. Okay, so pluj.js. Okay, within my home directory, this is the current folder that I'm looking in. If I click on this arrow, I can see all of the directories within uh, this folder. Okay. Additionally, the entire contents of this folder is displayed here in this current folder window. Got it. Okay. So uh, this may not be the folder that I want to be working in. Um, and so what I tend to do is I use Dropbox to um, back up and sync all my files. Okay. Uh, that way, if I'm working at uh, home or in the office, um, things sync up. Uh, but within Dropbox, I have a subdirectory for my coursework. And then within there, another subdirectory for each semester. And then a subdirectory for um, the courses uh, that I'm taking that semester. Okay, and so here I am. I just opened up uh, this subdirectory, um, CPB324, within Winter 28, Miami Courses, Dropbox, and so on and so forth. Okay, so that is my current folder. Okay, and then displayed in this uh, current folder window is the contents of uh, that directory. Okay, excellent. Okay, so now I'm going to go to create a script. Okay, so if I click New Script and I do something simple, such as a variable assignment. Okay. And so um, the purpose of this is what we're trying to look for here is issues or errors in calling um, my desired M file, whether it be a script or a function. Okay. And so in doing so, just having a simple program that does something like this, a variable assignment, uh, is beneficial, because when I run it, I know what I expect to see, a variable assignment of x equals 10. Okay. This way, if that file doesn't run, I know the issue is me calling the file and not some bug uh, within um, the file itself. So I'm going to, you know, have a simple variable assignment, okay, and I'm going to click Save to save it. Okay. And by default, when I save it, MATLAB's going to, um, by default, try and save in my current folder. All right, so my current folder is CPP324, um, and so here it is, uh, CPP324. So I'm going to save this as test, okay, and we're good to go. Okay. So I see my current path, and now that I've saved it, I see the file name on top of the editor, and then this shows the path where it's saved. Okay. Excellent. So if I go down to my ChemWAN window and I attempt to run, okay, so if I type test, okay, what MATLAB's can do is, well, first, uh, it might check to see if test is a variable uh, that exists in my workspace. Uh, it'll also check in all the directories in my search path to see if an M file, so a uh, function or script by the name of test exists, and we'll talk more about our search path in a minute. And it'll also search my current folder, okay? My current folder being, uh, again, CPP324. Here I display the contents and I see the test uh, is listed there. So if I run it, um, I get exactly my expected result. Okay, excellent. So, okay, that's in CPP324. Um, maybe an attempt to be organized. I would rather be in this Chapter 2 subdirectory that was there. Okay, so I just double clicked it to open it up. And so now my current path has been updated to Chapter 2. Okay. So let's see what happens now if I were to attempt to run test. Okay, I attempt to run test, I get an error message. Okay, and the error message is that test is not found in the current folder or on the MATLAB path. Uh, but since it's not too far away, it's actually smart enough to tell me uh, that it does exist and where it exists. Okay. And so the issue is, this file is saved in this uh, directory, but my current folder is now the subdirectory chapter 2, so it doesn't exist in my current folder. Um, so when MATLAB goes to look at my current folder or all the directories along my path for the existence of this file, it doesn't find it, it doesn't exist, so it doesn't run. Okay. So a very common mistake I find with students is um, 
they try and save and edit their files in a different path, uh, possibly in an attempt to be uh, more organized. Um, or if they download one of my files from the web, it often gets stored in some default downloads fol folder um, that isn't their current directory that they're working in, um, and it's not along their path. So even though they can open it in their editor and play around with it, um, it'll cause um, issues and that it's not in the, the current path. Okay, so if you get an error message like this, uh, the thing to check would be, would, you know, when I look at my file, is it in my current path? Um, if not, then you need to navigate, right? And how you navigate to it is uh, just intuitively by, by clicking. Okay, excellent. Okay, you might see other error messages like this. This one's actually pretty good. Um, so if a file was saved in my downloads, um, let's see, I might actually have one. So if I try and open some recent files, um, so if I go open, and let me try and go all the way back to my downloads, I must have um, some files saved somewhere. Okay, uh, this file surface tension .m. Okay, okay. So if I open this up. Uh, this file is saved in you know, download surface tension, okay? And so even though I opened it, right, the editor's not you know, in the same location as my current path. Okay? So even though I just downloaded it, I'm looking at this file, if I attempt to run it, okay, okay I'm going to get an error message that I have this undefined function or variable surface tension. Uh, and the issue is, is that um, it is not in my current directory. And in this case, it's very far away from my current folder, um, and so I don't get quite as nice of an error message, right? Here it tells me that I have an undefined function or variable surface tension, because um, it could be that maybe I'm attempting to use surface tension, uh, which is a variable that exists in my workspace. Okay, so if you ever get an issue, uh, the key is to make sure that you know, the file you're editing is either in your search path or your current directory. Okay. So by default, in this class in general, I will always try and save files in my current folder and run files from my current folder. Okay, um, but um, there are special exceptions to this. Okay, so if I go back to my home tab and I click Set Path, okay, what MATLAB will display is a list of all of the folders uh, in MATLAB's search path. Okay, so in my case, the top one is a folder that MATLAB was nice enough to create for me, okay? And then the rest are all uh, MATLAB special uh, folders, right? And so these are gonna be where, you know, all the functions say, in this case, in that the optimization toolkit um, are gonna be stored, okay? And so when I attempt to run a script, again, MATLAB will look in my current folder and it'll look in all of these directories which are listed in my search path. So if I were to save any scripts or any files to, say, this directory that MATLAB created for me, I can run them from anywhere, no matter where I am on my computer, as long as I'm running them from MATLAB. Okay. In general, I would not recommend touching any of the uh, ones that are built into MATLAB. Uh, but if you want, you can you know, save your files in this path. Um, or you can even add additional file or folders uh, uh, and subfolders to have MATLAB uh, search in uh, if you want. In general, I'll refrain from doing that in this course because as we're just getting started, we're going to create lots of files. Lots of the files will have the same name because we just keep incrementally improving them. And by saving them in my current folder, um, I can be sure that the file that I'm running or think I'm running is the file that I'm actually running. But just as an example, okay, so this uh, directory MATLAB created for me is in my current path. Okay, so if I create a new script, okay, um, and let's do another variable assignment, x is uh, 15. And now um, when I save this, go back to the other tab and, and click save, okay, rather than my current directory, I'm going to go back and it's under my uh, main folder documents MATLAB okay and so there I'm going to create this file test2 okay test2.m and so now if I go to my command window okay here is my current directory 
test2 is saved here, which is different than my current directory. Okay. However, if I type test2, it's going to run. Okay. And the reason it's going to run is because it's stored in this special directory, which is along my search path. And so then no matter where I am, no matter what current folder I'm in, um, MATLAB will still search that directory to see if that file exists. Okay. So this could be very useful uh, if you develop some um, very nice functions that are going to be used um, for a wide range of applications. Um, but in general, for the purpose of this course, I am not going to use it uh, just so that I don't cause any confusion or issues as we build up our programs. Okay? But do know that it's there. Uh, do know that um, you can add uh, directories uh, to that path uh, if you would like, and that could be quite handy and powerful um, after you've you know, graduated from this class and are a MATLAB ninja in your own right, or just as you become more comfortable with how MATLAB works.